What's up guys? So I got a question on a recent video and it was how do I set up a passphrase using the Ledger Stacks or the Ledger Flex? This exact same process will work for any Ledger devices. So if you're trying to do this with an S Plus or an S or a Ledger Nano X, you can follow these same steps. It's just that with the Stacks or the Flex, the user experience is gonna be a little bit easier than using something like the Ledger Nano X or the Ledger Nano S. So first of all, what is a passphrase? If you guys are not aware of what a passphrase is, it's basically a 25th word in your 24 word seed phrase or a 13th word and your 12 word seed phrase. So here on the screen right now, I have a dummy ledger account with $5 of Bitcoin in it with a 24 word seed phrase. And now what I'm gonna take you through is I'm going to be adding a passphrase to that 24 word seed phrase and then generating a new Bitcoin account using that new 24 plus passphrase seed phrase. And so again, just to get everyone on the same page, because I think that this is really important that everyone understands this. If you create a passphrase for your Bitcoin and then you lose the passphrase, it doesn't matter that you have your 24 words anymore more, your Bitcoin will be unrecoverable. You need the 24 words plus the passphrase if you ever create a passphrase. And if you don't totally understand that right now, watch through to the end of the video. I think it's going to become a little more obvious to you as we set this up why that is the case. So if you're looking to set up a passphrase on your Ledger Stacks or your Ledger Flex, you're going to obviously load it first with your 24 word seed phrase and go through the setup steps that we showed in the video a couple weeks ago that I'll have up in the cards and down in the description. And so then once you've set up your Ledger Stacks, you're going to click on this little gear icon down in the bottom left. You're going to move over to the right to the second screen and you're going to see advanced and then you'll see set passphrase. So the first option here is set passphrase and attach it to a new pin. And what that means is, let's say my first pin to get into my ledger device was one, two, three, four. I would set a second passphrase, maybe five, six, seven, eight. And then when I'm logging into my ledger for the first time, if I type in one, two, three, four, I'm going to be able to sign transactions for my original 24 word seed phrase. But when I type in five, six, seven, eight, it's going to take me to the seed phrase that is 24 words plus passphrase. So that's sort of a better user experience if you're looking to use that secret passphrase wallet more often. And then the second option here is set temporary passphrase, which means that every time you log into your ledger, you're going to have to type back in your secret passphrase to get to that passphrase wallet not just enter a new pin. And so that option, depending on how complicated your passphrase is, could be really easy to get to, or it could be really, really complicated, right? You could set an up to 100 character passphrase. And so you can imagine you wouldn't want to type out 100 characters on here that were really complicated to recall if you wanted to access that secret wallet on any regular frequency. And so just like everything else in the security world, this is going to be about trade-offs. You don't want to make your passphrase too easy that like anyone can guess it. And you don't want to make your passphrase too complicated that when you need to re-enter it, it's a giant pain in the And the same thing goes with storage. The easiest way to store this would be to put it in something like a 1Password and back it up digitally, but that's also the least secure thing to do. Because then if someone has access to your 1Password or if that is revealed in a leak and they somehow get access to your seed phrase, then they'll have access to your Bitcoin. And so the best thing to do is to back up your seed phrase and back up your passphrase and store them in two totally separate locations. So that it's very unlikely that if someone finds one that they will also have access to the other. You could also not write down your passphrase at all and just remember it. But I think in that case, you would want to share it amongst your family or, you know, a larger group of people so that if anyone was trying to recover your Bitcoin after you died, that they would be able to do that. So next, let's go ahead and set a passphrase and attach it to a new pin. So let's make the secret passphrase pin five, six, seven, eight. And we'll do that again, five, six, seven, eight. And so now I can enter my passphrase and it can be anything I want. Again, yours should probably be a little bit more complicated than the easy one that I'm gonna do here for demo purposes, but be careful that you don't make it too complicated that you can never enter it again. So I'm just gonna do test. And what's nice about the ledger stacks here is it's coming with a full keyboard where you can click here and get symbols and numbers and everything like that. So maybe let's do test one, two, three, four. Is this correct? Memorize the passphrase, including any special characters and capitalizations. Yes, that's correct. Forgetting your passphrase will lock you out of your funds. Super important. Make sure you understand this. And I think, again, it's going to become more clear as we set up the second account in Ledger Live why that's the case. Look, I understand. And now we'll enter the main passphrase to the ledger to make sure that we've confirmed our second passphrase. So again, if your first passphrase was one, two, three, four, you would enter that now. So now it's confirming my passphrase. All right, so now we see we've got some funds in our 24 word seed phrase account, and I've labeled it the 24 word seed phrase account just so that we can keep track of which account is which. So now when I try to log into my ledger, I'm gonna log in with the second pin that we created. So that was five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, 
eight. Now I've logged in. And now if I try to send the Bitcoin from this 24 word seed account, let's see if I click on send, I'll try to send $1 just because there's not very much Bitcoin in this account. So now if I click on continue, we're seeing that the hardware wallet is set up with a recovery phrase or a pass phrase associated with a different account. So this I've logged in with my second pin of the 25 word C phrase. And now when I'm trying to send money from the 24 word C phrase account, it doesn't work. So instead, what we have to do is click back up here on account and click on add a new account. I'm going to add some Bitcoin and we'll see here I'm being prompted. I'm allowed to create a second native SegWit Bitcoin account. So I'm creating two different native SegWit Bitcoin accounts, which normally on the same wallet would not be allowed, but we're using a different wallet. The passphrase creates a totally separate account. And so now I have my 25 word seed account. Now I have this 25 word passphrase account. So now if I want to receive some crypto to this passphrase account and I click on continue, I'm opening up the Bitcoin wallet on the device and I'm verifying that the address is the same over here. It's ending in ZT zero M and over here it's ending in ZT zero M. So I'm confirming that it's the same address shared securely. So now we can see this second account that I've created is linked to the account on the ledger. And if we go back to accounts, we'll see that I have a 24 word seed account that when I log in with the second pin on this ledger stacks device, I can't access that 24 word seed account. But when I created the second account for the 25 word passphrase account, I'm able to interact with that 25 word passphrase account from this ledger device. So hopefully that made sense to you guys. So from this one device, I'm now able to access two totally different Bitcoin accounts. I'm able to access the 24 word seed phrase account I'm able to access the 24 word plus passphrase 25 word seed phrase account. If I lose the passphrase, I can never access that 25 word seed phrase account ever again. I can still access the 24 word seed phrase account because of course I've backed up my seed phrase on hopefully metal sheets of titanium link to get a crypto tag down in the description. If you guys have any other questions about passphrases or if any part of this video was confusing to you or it didn't make sense or you need some clarification, leave a comment down below. I do respond to all the comments and then join the Discord if you need even more help. There's a big community of people over there who are all interested in cryptocurrency and programming and personal finance and we should be able to get any questions that you have answered over there. Check out these videos if you wanna learn more about hardware wallets. I love you all, see you next week.